Hi all. What we're gonna do today is run you through the process to update your phone firmware from Froyo to Gingerbread. Now Samsung has released the official update for the Samsung Infuse 4G phone. However, we're not gonna use this particular uh, version, official version from a Samsung because it does not contain root. What we're gonna do instead is use this version of the same official update uh, from Samsung with a root feature and CWM recovery option for the Infuse 4G phone. And this uh, update has been provided by xdadevelopers.com by jscott30. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prepare this video tutorial to help you run through the process. Well, there are a few options available here out of which I'm using option B which uh, has stock kernel, stock recovery, rooted, duodexed, zip aligned and busy box features for the gingerbread update released by Samsung. Before we begin I would like to highlight the, the importance of backing up all data on your phone because if, if we upgrade the phone firmware the process uh, would require you to wipe all data from all user data from your phone therefore uh, I, I am using Wondershare Mobile Go for Android's a free application to, up, to back up all the data that I have on my phone before I begin the procedure to upgrade my phone firmware from Android 2.2.1 to 2.3.6 with root added Alright, in order to uh, delete all data from your phone, what you need to do is hold down both the uh, volume buttons on your phone and press the power button. When the Samsung logo comes, what you need to do is release the power button and this will take you to the recovery mode. You can let go of the volume keys. Perfect. What we uh, see here is the CWM recovery mode and uh, let me try and see if I can get focus on this. Alright, uh, what we need to do is we need to use the volume buttons to toggle uh, the options and select delete all user data. Press the power button. and to toggle using the volume button to select yes delete all user data use the power button repeat this option use the toggle button to select delete cache data use the power button to delete all cache data and once this is done what you need to do is use the power button to select reboot system now This will take a time. Right. All right phone is back up and as we can see everything in the phone has been deleted wiped out phone is restarting alright uh, just to show you once again that the phone is still in Froyo as you can see on the screen 2.2.1 firmware version so we can upgrade to gingerbread with root Alright, I have turned off the phone once again. I have removed the battery and I have the USB cable uh, on the other hand. And uh, what we're going to try to do here is uh, enter the download mode. And this is what we need to be, this is where we need to be rather. 
in order to uh, upgrade the phone firmware using Odin. Uh, what this is a little tricky. What what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold down the power buttons. I'm sorry, the volume buttons. And while we do that, we're gonna try and uh, put the battery back in while we are holding down the volume keys. And what we're gonna try and do here is put the USB cable back on. All right, didn't work. All right, perfect. It's a little tricky. I was trying to do too many things with both hands. So, uh, all right, we we got through. Basically, what we need to do is we need to remove the battery. We need to hold down the volume buttons. While holding down the volume buttons, with the other hand, you need to reinsert the battery and put the USB plug back on. All right, we are in download mode right now. Okay, our phone has uh, now been detected by the computer. We have connected the USB uh, cable and uh, the phone is definitely in download mode at the moment. And as we can see, drivers are getting installed, the phone is getting detected. Alright, let me tell you uh, that there are two things you would require for this upgrade. Uh, number one being the upgrade package that you have to download from xt at developers.com and uh, I have downloaded both the the packages uh, the other one that you require is Odin I'm using Odin 1.81 version 3 so we would require these two packages uh, to complete this upgrade alright my computer tells me that the phone is ready to use if you get this message I think we're good to go we're gonna launch Odin if uh, if the phone is detected by the computer, in that case, the COM port should light up in yellow color. Alright, we're going to launch Odin. And it has, the COM port has, ID COM port has detected the phone. As you can see. What we're gonna do is uh, let me copy the path. We're gonna click on the PDA button and we're going to browse and select the package, the update package, which is i997 uclb3 root diodex tar dot md5. Click on open. Sorry. Selected. Phone is still on download mode. Connected through US. Click on start. You can see some activity on the left hand window. You can also see the hourglass. Oh, it's working. See the progress bar, the green progress bar. See the same on the phone.
phone is restarting As all threads completed, succeed one failed zero. I'm stuck at the rainbow screen. Taking quite some time to boot. Alright, we're back on. Say it's two point three point six. Change of bread. Thank you for watching.